things in the um, transportation industry as a result of the subsidy removal. To what extent will this issue of um, Innocent Motors addresses some of these challenges? Well, I don't think uh, there's challenges because solution is available. The petrol price have gone up. People will reduce their hands by using buses to go for their works. Uh, natural gas is there to power all these buses. You can use natural gas. You can use um, normal gas and natural gas. Anyone you want. If you want electric to be charging it, we can produce for you to charge and move. So that's an issue. Government have solution. So our factory here can produce any type you like, you need. Okay, sir. So once again, um, now Moses Sakigwe talked about capacity. Mm. Now, from the office's mouth, do you really have the capacity to sell the this, Nigerian this, public? And how many of these vehicles, either the big ones, the long ones, the short ones, do you actually produce uh, monthly, manufacture monthly? Well, we manufacture according to demand. Why we start this one now and doing it is because of there is demand now. If you watch during the COVID time, what you produce is ambulances. Well, the, the ambulances take the space. We are here on ground. Anyone that demand the surface there is need in this country will face that particular one and produce them. Then, now we are producing buses in massive production okay. because the Nigeria need it now to make sure that the Nigerian workers are going their work very well. Still mm. talking about the small buses, we discovered that most of these small buses in um, they are the ones they use in Lagos. We usually call them Koropwe. And what are uh, what uh, it's our relationship? Are you having with the Lagos State Government to ensure that these buses are also brought to Lagos instead of importation? No, 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 I'm an industrialist. I don't know much about how the state are managing the affairs. If any state need the vehicle from me, I'm ready to supply them. Even Lagos State they bought some vehicle from me, so I don't think there is anything. Maybe those ones you are seeing is my vehicle. You understand? They are okay, my so friends. In terms of uh, uh, fuel economy, uh, do you think the CNG vehicles are going to go in that? Yes, yeah, CNG vehicle uh, is a solution. That's why we produce them, make space for the CNG, make space for the natural gas, make space for fuel. So that anyone is available in your area, you use the one to drive your vehicle. Okay, so you will not park. So my vehicle now have CNG, uh, uh, um, LNG, and um, fuel and also ordinary gas and also electric it depends on what you want we are here to produce if you want electric i power it with electric if you want um cng i power it with cng if you want lng i power it with lng if you want it with the ordinary fuel i power it with fuel but i have the space that anyone i will show you in the vehicle you see it on the line so that anyone you need we have capacity to produce what we produce is the demand. What the, if you watch now, we start the, because of this uh, fuel increase. Look at the buses we start, and we are producing them now. We are producing like every day, 20 units will come out. Uh, uh, yes, that leads me to, uh, to readiness. Uh, to meet demand. We are ready. Yes. If they give us another 2,000, we will give them another uh, something. I'll tell you why I asked because uh, I think in the 80s, yes, I think was the president. Yes, after uh, the uh, similar increase. They asked for about 1,000 bucks. Ananko supplied 700. But the problem was that they now blamed Ananko for taking too long to produce the No, no, see, no, my no, own. No, no, problem. no, no, my own is not the, uh, that issue. Listen, demand. If I get demand, I will increase even the quantity. My factory have capacity. My capacity, my factory have capacity of producing this bus, 100, uh, 200 units in one month. So what I need is to employ more people. But on ground now, like how many do you have? The big ones, the real massive. On ground, I have material to produce up to 500 so units. The ones that are you can crack, check it by yourself. Okay. I have on the material on ground that can produce not less than 500 units immediately. In a short minute. We can produce 20 units every day if the demand is there. So production, production is no easy. The factory has been set up even before this. We did not set this factory because of today. We set it to serve Nigeria in any side. I told you last time when there's COVID, the most of the ambulances they use in this country was produced here. You understand? Today, buses is what they need. We we'll produce for them, and uh, we are showing them 
Uh, even the labor that are panicking about transportation, I'm assuring them that the issue of transportation will not be issue because of all this uh, material on ground. We are going to satisfy them. The important thing is for people to make order. All the state to give us, give us order. We are going to, we are ready to supply and satisfy everybody. Thank you. And a good price, yes. You know, anybody who went to overseas to import buses is wasting foreign exchange for this country. Anybody who think about going to overseas to import buses now is wasting our foreign exchange. It's very important. Everybody must work together to get this country in order. How can we, some people now will go to overseas to buy buses while we are producing here, exporting to other countries. But somebody will go to overseas to import. So it's very wrong. So I feel that anybody that's thinking of importing buses today in this country is wasting our foreign exchange. We have to hold him responsible. Yes. Oh. Thank, Thank you. you.